Hello, my name is Sam and welcome to a After Effects tutorial. Don't normally do these. Um, we're doing it on loading icons. So it's very simple to make a simple loading icon for um, whatever project you might be having. Maybe you're uh, building a website and you need a loading icon for that or a loading icon for some sort of video, whatever it's for. They're very simple to make and you can get very creative with, uh, with some of the designs. So um, let's have a look at uh, one I made earlier and we'll try and recreate something similar along those lines. So this is a pretty simple animation. It's basically just built of two circles, um, and which is kind of how most loading icons kind of look. You can get pretty creative with different shapes, um, but we'll, we'll do something basic and we'll try and recreate something along these lines. Okay, so first things first, let's create a new composition. We'll make it loading icon two. Let's spell icon correctly. Okay, so first things first, we need to make ourselves a circle. There's no circle option directly built in to uh, After Effects, but you make it by basically creating a square. If you hold down shift while creating a square, then uh, you, you get a sh uh, perfectly, uh, perfectly shaped square. Uh, you go down to your shape layer and you go down to uh, rectangle and uh, look at rectangle path. You'll see a roundness uh, slider or roundness uh, like it's basically just rounding the corners, but if you put that to uh, um, basically as high as it will go, you end up with a perfect circle, basically. So that's how we get the circle. Now, of course, we're not interested in the in inside of the circle, so we kind of want to get rid of the fill. So we'll disable the fill there. You can see the uh, the eye icon there to disable it. And we want a stroke. Can you see there's a stroke option here? If we enable that, we'll now see a uh, white basic stroke. And that's kind of what we're going to be uh, using to to build our uh, to build our loading icon, loading icon. So to animate this uh, this stroke to come on and off, we'll use something called trim path. Uh, trim paths. So if we go to the add option up here uh, under the shape layer, hit add, and you see there's a few things here. One of them is called trim paths. We'll enable that, and that pops up down here. If we open up the options, we'll have a start and an end uh, position. And if you see, if I move the start, you can't really see when I enable the effect. To see this uh, better, if I increase the size of the stroke, stroke width, you'll see this a bit easier. So if I move the start point, you'll see that this is kind of animating the whole thing on and off. So what we can do is we can play around with this to make a, to make an animation using our uh, our stopwatch timers here to uh, enable keyframing. So if we hit the start keyframe, move along a second. And we'll move that, in fact, we'll do, do it the other way around. So we start that on zero and also start end on zero. Hit the stopwatch on start, go to one second, move that along. You see that animates on, simple as that. And we can start the end stopwatch here, go along to two seconds and move the end along. And you end up with a simple animation like that. Now, if we wanted the, at the moment, it's starting at the at the point of, uh, on the right hand side at the three o'clock mark, we can move that start point around using the offset, uh, which basically it just changes where the start and end position is. Now we can actually animate that to make a slightly more interesting uh, look to our animation. We can actually set this to one times offset, which basically means it's going to go 360 degrees. So if we move that, we'll see we actually get this kind of Cool animation, which is probably very similar to uh, to one you've probably seen. I, I can't remember where, where I've seen it. Is, it. is it YouTube? It's a it's a very popular design. At least you see it a lot. Um, and that looks uh, that's you know you could probably get away with that. That's pretty basic. You can make it look a little bit nicer with uh, with some motion blur. If you turn that on, you'll see you have a little bit of motion blur just to make the thing look a bit nicer. And we can bring the end point to where the end of the uh, to our uh, to our end point and start point keyframes, we bring that to the beginning there. Then we can loop the entire animation, and we can keep seeing it on and off. And of course, looking back on the uh, on the original example, we had a we had a dotted line. Um, so uh, we can we can add that quite simply by going to uh, the dashes, and we can. Hit the plus option here and we'll add basically dashes at the moment there's a lot in there 
but we can if we up the dash amount for what is if well up the dash width I suppose you could say is what is what it really is and you can uh, you can adjust where they are you can see you have this uh, look which kind of is interesting it's following this the dashes they follow the start point which is why they seem to move more at the beginning and then as soon as the start point ends and the end point tries to catch up uh, it uh, it slows down and the only thing that, the only reason why it's moving afterwards is because of the offset of course this is a very fat looking uh, looking icon at the moment so we can uh, we can lower the size of the uh, of the stroke to bring that down to something a little bit more um, classy I suppose stroke width here we go bring that down to something a bit thinner have something like that which is a bit nicer we can also make this thing a bit look a bit uh, more stylized I guess with uh, with a glow and put a glow on here and we can up the radius and the intensity see we've now got a little bit of a so if you're doing a little bit more of a, a filmic kind of uh, less bare basic kind of animation then uh, then you have this which looks quite nice we can also change the color a good plugin I would recommend uh, if you're using uh, After Effects a lot is uh, Video Copilot's um, color vibrance plugin it's a free plugin and it's just it has lovely looking colors when it comes to um, colorizing um, grayscale elements. So um, we'll look up uh, Video Copilot. Da -da -da. Don't know. Colorize probably brings it up. Yeah, VC Color Vibrance under Video Copilot. Bring that on. We can uh, change the color to something a little bit more blue, say. And we can. Lower the brightness so it isn't so white, it's a bit more blue. So you can see, you end up with this kind of highlight where the bright spots are and then it kind of darkens off, which is basically how, how it should normally work, which is why the plugin is so good and it looks very realistic. So you just get the kind of blue, blue kind of look, which is quite nice. Uh, we can extend the, uh, the glow, I think, make that look a little bit nicer. The glow doesn't appear to be going outside anymore now that we've added the uh, the color vibrance for whatever reason. Not entirely sure what the reason is for that, but to fix that, we should be able to just uh, put the glow on an adjustment layer instead of the shape layer itself, which means it's doing it uh, separately from the uh, from the rest of it. If the glow has been added now, we can uh, we can adjust that separately, which is nice. Here we go. We've now got a bit more of a, a stylized look, which looks quite nice. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how to make a bare basic looking loading, up, loading icon. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Of course, if you want to uh, experiment more, you can add more inside like we have on the loading icon here in the, in the example. You can mess around with it and just create some pretty interesting designs. Um, there's a lot of different loading icons out there. I'm sure you've seen scouring the internet. So yeah, get inventive and get creative. Thanks very much for watching, I'm Sam and I'll see you in the next video.